the dolphin and the shark this is an imagination story written by b a tony siago fantasy or imagination story in such stories we find animals speaking and behaving like human beings let us go through the story <coughs> this is the story of shark and dolphin and about the magical experience that they have one day what is the um, let us try to find it once upon a time there lived a shark named simon and a dolphin named dudley they lived in the ocean the ocean was there being fish they lived not far from a beautiful sandy beach there was a beautiful sandy beach near the ocean there was a tall white house and a murky swamp murky means dark and dirty swamp means a wet land on which if you walk your footprints will go deep down swamp now simon and dudley knew each other but they were not the best of friends dudley had two sisters and they played together and took care of each other <coughs> dudley and his sisters took care of each other they were very happy in the cool blue water of the ocean but simon swam all alone he had no brothers nor sisters no friends and no one to play with we cannot play all alone we need somebody some one else to play with us this made him grumpy what Simon was all alone, and he had nobody to play with. And so he would spend his days swimming lazily. He would spend his day swimming lazily. He, he was not happy, feeling sorry for himself, and just being mean, mean. this made him come now just this created some what jealousy towards the dudley and his sisters jealousy is sharp grumpy means of happy simon's favorite hobby was to chase the dudley and his sisters and attack them he would dive deep in the water he would dive deep dive deep in the water lurking near the water lurking means going down hiding himself and waiting to attack lurk means to hide oneself and wait for attacking 
that came near the bottom. And then, when he saw the dolphins playing near the surface, he would swim as hard as he could and go towards them and try to bite their tails. From the back of bottom, if you would observe Dolphin and his sister playing, he would go as fast as he could, dart from them and try to bite their tails, attacking them. But the Dolphins always saw him coming. But the Dolphins always saw him coming. And they would come up out of the water, come up out of the water, jump and stand on their tails. Now, dolphins have a very strong ability of diving out of the water and swimming, standing on the tails for a few sec seconds, a couple of seconds. And whistle and giggle. They will whistle and giggle their day were not attacked by Simon. Simon could not bite their tails. They always managed to keep just out of the reach of Simon's big sharp teeth. Though Simon tried to bite their tails, they always managed to escape. and remain out of reach of Simon's big sharp teeth. I don't think Simon really wanted to catch them. Do you? The author says. I don't think Simon really wanted to catch them. Do you? Because if he caught them and had them, he wouldn't have any fun anymore. Now suppose Simon Get them and add them. Then there will be nobody to attack, nobody to chase. Simon was all alone, but he would not get any company. He was jealous of and very eager to get company. But you never know about sharks. So Dudley and his sisters were always on the lookout for Simon the Grum. Simon was unhappy because he remained all alone without making friends with others. Dudley and his sisters were always on the lookout, search for Simon. One day, while Dudley was swimming by himself and Simon was chasing him, they got very close to the shore. Dudley leaped out of the water with Simon right behind him. Dudley leaped, jumped out of the water and Simon also went behind him. Behind him. And they both saw some very strange on the beach. Both of them saw something very strange on the beach. What did they see? They saw something strange, but what was he? Their reading out of the sand were strange tracks in the sand. They found strange tracks, footprints, strange footprints on the sand because there was swam and any, any animal that had walked would leave its footprints on the muddy sand. They had really out of the search their swam were strange legs in the sand. The devil stopped swimming and Simon stopped chasing. Both of them stopped.
swimming and chasing. They wondered about the strange footprints, tracks. They had never seen marks like that before on the sandy beach. I wonder if it was a duck built pretty much secretly. That is really said there. He wondered it was a duck built pretty much that had walked. I don't think so, replied Simon. Now Simon began talking with little bit. I don't think so, though he opposed. I will bet it was a very Interested, hairy headed bee walker. A strange animal, red breasted, hairy headed bee walker. Some strange animal. Duck built platypus is also a strange animal. Because the footprints were that of a strange animal, they started imagining about strange animals. But since neither of the creatures were seen in those parts very often, they kept on wondering. But any strange animals like platypus or meewalker, they had never seen. So they kept on wondering what the footprints would be of. They thought maybe it had been a big buried wicked gobbler. Big buried wicked gobbler. Or perhaps a hooty shooty crela. Some different types of animals. But they just were not sure what had made those funny large footprints on the marshy beach. They were surprised to find some large footprints on the sand and they wondered what it could be. Now, dear students, let us try to work out some questions. Where did Simon and the relatives there? So, the answer will be given. Simon and the relatives.
There is a garden nearby home. There is an hospital near our school. There is a big banyan tree near the temple. We start with that. Question number three. What? Who did play with the Bible? The Bible played with his sisters. Or his sisters played with the Bible. Who means the Bible's sisters played with him? What made Simon grumpy? Grumpy means unhappy, sad and unhappy. What made Simon? Who was Simon? Simon was sad. What made Simon grumpy? Simon was all alone. He had no friends. So he felt sorry and mean. This made him grumpy. What made him grumpy? Simon was all alone. He had no friends. He felt sorry and mean for himself. This made Simon the star grumpy. This made him unhappy. What was Simon's favorite hobby? What was Simon's favorite hobby? Now, you can start the answer, read the answer from here. Simon's favorite hobby was what was Simon's favorite hobby was to chase and attack the very and his sisters. Simon's favorite hobby was to chase and attack the very and his sisters. Dear students, try to read the lesson and practice the lesson. Thank you.